the following day, and Jade, now keen to make progress, is hungry for nourishment and can't work out why Julie's portions are so small. That's my lunch. Mm -hmm. Jade's concerns about Julie's diet come to a head. Julie, there's just there's one thing now that I need to say. Right. You don't live off what I've been given so far and got yourself, you know, 24 stone in weight from this sort of thing. That's right, that's what I would have for my lunch. You'd have two cheese and onion rolls? Yes. I don't eat like a pig every day, like people seem to Julie, think I'm not I being do. funny, but you're 24 stone. Do you not think I know that? It doesn't make sense, Julie. It doesn't make sense. I'm only saying what I know is true. I'm, you know, I'm not lying, I'm not... Is it true, though? Yes. It doesn't look like it. Well, maybe it doesn't. It but... doesn't. But what? Have you lied? No. Have you cut your food diary down? I'm sorry, I can't sit here and be told I'm wrong anymore. I'm fed up being told I'm fake and I'm lying and I'm wrong and don't bother me with the camera. Don't. Jade's confrontation has sent Julie's feelings into free fall after years of her bottling them up. All my life, I have put a brave face on and saying, I don't care. I don't care what you think. It doesn't bother me. I'm smiling and, you know, I'm happy, I'm fine. It's not until I get home and I close my bedroom door and that it upsets me. With the atmosphere, shall we say, fragile in the house, Dr Christian wants to get the girls back on track. I think it's OK to be emotional, it's OK to be upset. In fact, it's healthy. If things move you, upset you, be moved and upset, it's fine. It's been 10 or 11 years that I've been this way and it's going to take longer than a week for it to change. And I'd like it to take time. I don't think you can do it quickly. I don't think you should do it quickly. And there's a long... This is life, actually. This is you for the rest of your life. This is not you for the next three months. Yeah. OK, so it's not a race. And emotionally, I want you to start admitting things to yourself. I worry about the denial because that's going to hold you back. I suspect because your food diary, as it stands, what you gave us, doesn't tie in with actually what you must have been eating in order to gain the weight yeah. that you have. It doesn't tie in. So I'm not saying necessarily that you're fibbing, but I am saying that I think you're probably behaving yourself quite well that week. Possibly. Would you agree to that? Possibly, yes. Yeah. And just to make sure that the message is getting through, Dr Jessen has a serious reminder for Julie. Like any dependency, there's usually a trigger point. So Julie and Jade join forces and look to their past to pinpoint where their food issues started. <laughs> 